Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The sub is on the way. The sub is on the way. It's Subway. <laughs> that was the worst joke ever. Guys, <laughs> I literally couldn't think of anything, so I just said that. Oh my God. I have never been this excited or nervous about a taste test, I think, in my whole career. This taste test is fate itself. This taste test is, what's it called, serendipity? Today, I am taste testing Subway's foot-long cookies. You might be thinking to me, I haven't heard of these. What is this? Well, you haven't heard of them because I'm one of the only people that gets to try them. There goes my phone. <laughs> so the other day I was on Twitter, right? And Subway tweeted this picture. First of all, jaw dropping, stunning. We love to see it. And they said that they are dropping foot long Subway cookies. It turns out they're only dropping them at one location in the US for three hours. That's it. That's all they're doing, at least right now. And I thought to myself, that's great. They're not gonna release them in Florida. Nothing ever comes to Florida, let's be honest. They're gonna release them in like LA or like Chicago or something. But guess what? These Falong cookies were released at a Miami location, 30 minutes from my house or apartment. I don't, I don't own a house. 30 minutes from me. The only location in the US. I felt special. And so today came a Sunday and um, me and my wonderful bae drove all the way to Subway. And we get there guys and <laughs> my bae took some footage. It was a whole event. There was a live band. They had changed the windows. It was all cookie way. So I was like, this is iconic. And we were second in line behind this really nice like older man that was like so excited about getting these cookies. Also, they had a camera crew and they filmed us. I was standing there awkwardly like this <laughs> in line and I was sucking in my gut so hard. I was like, <sighs> I couldn't breathe. It was a whole experience. It was honestly really, really cool and super fun. This is not sponsored by the way at all. I'm just very hyped. And then they let us into the Subway restaurant and all the topping like bowls had like cookie toppings in them. Um, and like the dressing like bottles had like chocolate syrup and all those things in them. And I get to the cashier, I'm like, I want all four. And they were like, oh, I'm sorry, it's just one per person. And I was like, oh, that's fine. Thankfully, there were two of us, so I got to get two cookies. And um, I chose the two weirdest flavors, which I'm gonna talk about right now, like the two craziest. And I got out my card to pay, and they were like, oh no, it's free. And I was like, it's free. And they were like, yeah, it's free. I was like, thank you, that's amazing. So they're just giving out these cookies for three hours, free. They're covered in toppings. They're super unique, super limited edition. And I just feel so grateful that I get to try two of them. <laughs> Look at the packaging, first of all. Are you kidding me? What's it say? It's like backwards. One foot long cookie. Yeah, you read that right. That's such a promotional thing to say. I love it. Oh my gosh. No, <laughs> Happy National Cookie Day, Subway, Subway, nothing on the bottom. So let's talk about the flavors, okay? There are four flavors, or there were four flavors because I'm posting this tomorrow. The four flavors are the Subway Cookie Club, the Mexicali, the Monster. <laughs> I don't know why it made me think of the um, Nicki Minaj song, I can't. And the Great Pickle. I got the Mexicali and the, what's it called? The Pickle, the Great Pickle. <laughs> So this is the description for the Mexicali. Inspired by the south of the border flavor of the number seven, one of their subs, the Mexicali starts with a vanilla sugar cookie base smothered in dulce de leche, then topped with mole, love mole sauce so much, and corn nuts drizzled with white chocolate sauce and finished with ground coffee, tahine, and espresso chips. <laughs> that sounds epic, spicy, sweet, salty, so weird, so different. I'm here for it. And then the other one I got, the great pickle is even weirder. Are you ready? Inspired by the great garlic number eight sub, this sweet and savory cookie layers both peanut butter and marshmallow cream on top of a vanilla sugar cookie base topped with salty potato chips, savory bacon crumbles, and Subway's brand new dill pickles. I personally love pickles so much now. They are on a sweet cookie, so I hope it tastes good, but I'm here for it. Oh, wait, the two flavors I didn't get also sound interesting, but not as intense. Um, the Subway Cookie Club has a double chocolate cookie base, 
um, vanilla frosting, chocolate chip, white chocolate macadamia nut, and raspberry cheesecake cookie chunks on it, sprinkles, and some sauces. And then the Monster um, has the same cookie, but it has peanut butter, peanut butter cups, Reese's Pieces, butterscotch morsels, and pretzels, and then some sauces. So that was very peanut butter pretzely, right? So because I could only get two, I got the odd queens, the queens that need friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Timmy's Takeout, for more fast food reviews and full menu taste tests. It's a great time here, and we love takeout. So let's open them up. I don't want to eat them. They just look so perfect and they're so limited. I just want to like collect them and let them grow mold. There is the inside. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh I just gave birth. Oh. So this is the great pickle guys. It has chips, pickles, bacon, peanut butter. Oh my goodness. This is very like Elvis, right? Very that. It smells like a pickle. <laughs> very pickly. Very strong, very potent. Now let's open up the Mexicali with the mole and the corn. Here's the inside. Pretty. Oh, this one came out nice and smooth. Wow. They put so much seasoning, my mouth is watering. Oh, it smells like coffee, like pure coffee. Wow. I feel so exclusive, VIP. They put so much dolce de leche right there, guys. You see it popping out? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna pause, get my thumbnail, and then we'll taste test the cookies. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion, rate them from one to 10, and let you know if they're worth trying, if they ever come to an area near you in the future, okay? Can I pick them up without the thing? Okay, wow. It really holds together. It's quite thick, quite girthy. Wow. Oh yeah, also, as we were leaving, it was terrifying. These hands with like white gloves on popped out of a wall. <laughs> I was like, oh! <laughs> and passed us milk and water. I was, for free, once again, everything was free. Guys, that's clickable. Okay, I hope you clicked on this for the thumbnail. Hmm. <sighs> okay, go eat. This is all too exciting for me, guys. Like. This is <laughs> the biggest thing that's happened to me in months. I'm just gonna cut the cookie. Oh, that cuts so nicely. Let's do one more slice here. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah. So that's the inside, very thick. Mmm. Oh my god, that's fantastic. Mmm. <laughs> I need more pickles and bacon. Mmm. You would think it would be disgusting. It's so delicious. Mmm. Oh, more. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh. So, I want some more. Just one more little slice here, and then we'll talk. Okay, let me pause. So, the cookie itself does not taste like Subway's typical cookies at all. And I love their cookies, but this is very different. This cookie has a very strong brown sugar flavor to it. It almost tastes homemade, and the texture is quite different. It's chewy, but also like a teeny tiny bit cakey. And it's 
it's very thick, but it's not rich. So it's not like, oh, I can't take it. I could eat a lot of this, honestly. Now the peanut butter and the marshmallow work so well together. The peanut butter adds, of course, a nuttiness and an earthiness. And then, oh, and a saltiness too. And the marshmallow adds a sweet, sticky vibe. Now let's talk about the toppings themselves. The pickles, the bacon, and the chips. They work so well with the peanut butter and the marshmallow and the cookie. It's incredible. You wouldn't think they would, but they do. The bacon isn't crispy, but it tastes fine. The chips are like nice, salty, like Lay's chips, I think. Original. Mmm, with the sweetness. Oh, and the pickles are so tart and so salty and tangy and flavorful. They really add such an interesting depth to the cookie and they take it to like the next level. They make the bite so much more interesting. Mm, they're so sour. They just contrast the sweetness so well. I'm just shook it. I thought this would be nasty, but it's actually fantastic. I'm giving the gray pickle a 10 out of 10. It really tastes like a homemade creation. Oh my God, that was a great burp. Okay, so now it's time to try the Mexicali. Remember this one has mole sauce on it. It has dulce de leche. It has um, corn nuts, tahine, coffee grounds. Here we go. Oh my God. Okay. <gasps> you can see the caramel in there. Look at that caramel filling. Gorgeous, stunning. We love it. Let's try it. <laughs> I don't know what to think. I think I like it, but I'm really not sure. I don't know what to think. Oh my god. Wow. The corn nut. <laughs> delicious but also so weird mm. oh I know exactly what this tastes like It's the same flavor. And that's why it surprised me. Have you ever had chili cheese Fritos? That is this. <laughs> that is the flavor profile. First of all, this caramel. is fantastic. I am half Cuban, so I know my dulce de leche. And this is good dulce de leche. Very authentic. Very thick, very sweet. Just delicious. Oh, I want more. Okay. The cookie itself tastes exactly like the um, great pickle cookie. Very simple, kind of cakey, thick, tastes like brown sugar. Same thing, but the toppings really completely transform it. The corn nuts add such an amazing crunch and a really nice Frito saltiness. And it's like a surprise when you're chewing it. It's like, a corn nut, what? Who, where, what, when? And it works. I can't really taste the mole, to be honest. The coffee grounds and the tahine really pop. Neither of them take over. It's like a hint of coffee and a hint of tahine, but both add a lot of depth. Um, the coffee adds, of course, that kind of mocha vibe, right? But the tahine adds a burst of liminess that works so well with the caramel. It is really intense. I've never had a cookie that tastes like this. It is really so different. I surprisingly really enjoyed it. This whole video sounds so sponsored because these cookies look disgusting, but they're not. <laughs> I swear it's not sponsored. And if it was disgusting, I would tell you. You know I would. It works and it's genuinely delicious, but that first bite really is a shock. It's like, whoa. I'm gonna give the Mexicali a nine out of 10. I did like the grape pickle just a bit more, but honestly, I'm so impressed with these cookies. I hope that they like release them nationwide, maybe in like small versions. 
right? I don't know. Because they're both so interesting and so unique. And the fast food industry typically doesn't make items like these. These are very one of a kind, very unique. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below. Do you plan on trying? Oh, you can't try these. Would you try these if they ever came out nationwide? Anyway, subscribe. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Ooh.